Hey there, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on video of the Windows 10 Mobile Redstone build, the build 14361 that Microsoft has pushed to Windows Insiders in Fastry. The build brings with itself lots of fixes and improvements, but not uh, many visible changes. In this video, we will talk about our installation experience. We will demo the unreported and reported changes. We will also talk about how the build behaves in terms of general performance multitasking, gaming, and also video watching. We will obviously share our impressions, overall impressions of the build. So, and so to begin with, let's talk about the installation experience, which has been extra smooth on the build. Compared to the last build, it was quicker and smoother on both of our devices. Lumia 640XL and Lumia 550, we could see that build uh, got installed quickly. It took uh, around uh, maybe like 40 minutes on uh, both the devices and it was quite smooth so there are no issues so since microsoft is on the right track to push windows 10 mobile anniversary update in july now coming to our general uh, okay let's talk about the unreported changes so there are not too many unreported changes uh, but if you go to cortana you can see one change and which is that you would not directly be taken to the cortana home screen with the cards it says what's new for you so this is something which is new you will tap on it and then you will go to the cortana home this is obviously a new change change in the cortana's ui apart from that everything remains same similar as it was we were not able to find anything uh, new in terms of ui changes now coming to how the build okay so let's also talk about one of the important official really reported change uh, which is in uh, which is in the keyboard so you can now move the keyboard up and down and also use that one-handed keyboard mode on more devices like lumia 640 and lumia 830 So you can tap and hold the space key and move the keyboard up and down like this on Lumia 640 and Lumia 32. You can use that one handed mode. So if you're a right handed person, you can dock it to right. If you are a left handed person, you can dock it to left and use it easily. So this is one of the very welcome changes that have arrived for more devices. So <clears throat> now coming to how the build behaves in general life. So like in the how is the general performance and multitasking etc so that is really good the build is quite good very smooth we can open few native apps and see but uh, in our experience it behaves quite well like a uh, i mean we can recommend it now for a, a daily driver in slow range because till now we did not encounter any crashes the ram management issue that we have, have been highlighting has seems to be fixed with this build Microsoft may have not mentioned it, but it seems that it's fixed. So let's open a few of the native apps and uh, send them to the background one by one. Let's check the settings and navigation, or we can also check how the action center works. You can see it's much better, quite smooth. So if you go to all settings, it's very fast actually. It's always, I mean, it has been impressive on redstone builds, and uh, 14361 is no exception. When it comes to, I mean, things happening fast, the settings opening fast is quite good actually. It's impressive. Just 
okay let's send it to the background now uh, we can also see whether cortana is open or not in the background so we have full house in the background the multitasking all uh, maximum number of cards are open let's just check in fact we have a game open as well which is traffic rider And it's open it took some time for the game to uh, resume but as far as other uh, native apps go okay yes closed one of the apps but as far as the native apps go it seems uh, things are like multitasking is very very good quite fast actually we can check the game once more so for the game to resume it is obviously taking a bit of time and that may depend either on the game as well but it did not show a resuming or loading screen but it took a bit of time but then I think it's a third party game so maybe it's not it that much optimized but if you talk about any of the native apps it works quite well the resume is quite good actually if you see in Microsoft Edge okay now we'll talk about how the video uh, watching looks like so let's quickly play a trailer So as you can see the video play does not have any issue of the past it has looks quite good well sorted out let's check the game the traffic rider one of the most popular games that people are playing nowadays on windows 10 mobile so we will just do a bit of gaming gaming uh, demo so let's quickly do it Okay. <laughs> Let's give it one more shot. Okay, so it's quite difficult to actually do a gaming uh, while demoing it, but as soon as you can understand, I mean, it looks that, I mean, the gaming part is good. There is no issue with uh, the gaming on a Lumia 640XL. The navigation was very smooth, actually, scrolling, etc. It's quite good. 
if you talk about native apps they resume really fast there was only one issue we saw that that game was resumed it took bit of time not too much but bit of time you did not see a don i mean resuming screen but still so maybe that also depends on uh, how the game was optimized but maybe microsoft also has to think about how to uh, i mean make the games resume fast as well so uh, in a way i mean you can see that the build actually behaves quite well there are no i mean crashes etc so it's it's quite uh, close to be a daily driver kind of build and it can go to slow ring so uh, let's check quickly how the build we have on the lumia 550 and many people would be interested we will do a bit of gaming here on lumia 550 as well let's see how this traffic rider game uh, behaves on lumia 550 Okay. <laughs> so even on a Lumia 550, we can see the gameplay has been okay for at least this very popular game. We did not face any issues. It, it has been running quite good on the build 14361. anyways okay <laughs> so uh, as you can see uh, on a lumia 640 xl or on a lumia 550 build phone 4361 is quite uh, fast responsive multitasking works good with the native apps which must mention with the i mean maybe with the games it is bit uh, kind of it takes bit of time but i don't know i mean not sure uh, where to put the blame but maybe microsoft and developers can fix that now coming to how the battery life is, the battery life has been quite good till now. There were like some battery life fixes that Microsoft rolled out in last to last build. So uh, taking them into account and seeing how the build be, is be having on these two devices, it has been quite good. We, we actually can't say that we are seeing a big improvement over last builds, but the battery life is good actually. If we can just check the battery for... so it's 53 percent and estimated time remaining is 12 hours 39 minutes on a lumia 550 so it's quite good actually so it must uh, it seems that it can last like 23 24 hours let's talk about lumia 640 xl so it's quite good actually it's seen sync looks like both uh, can like here in case it can be like somewhere around again 24 25 hours so quite good for a, a preview build redstone preview build but it seems microsoft is now uh, putting lots of polish trying to get the builds uh, close to what it should be like a stable release worthy candidate so with that uh, we come to end of this video in which we have shared our installation experience we have demoed multitasking performance gaming video watching we have shared how the build behaves how the performance is we have also shared our impressions of the build we have uh, demoed one un one or two unreported changes and obviously uh, one officially important reported changes so with that time to say uh, bye and stay tuned for more keep watching